And yeah. what was the first time you felt that also to Manka, if there is um, one moment you, you realize, when, when was it, when you were uh, 20 years old or something nearer in time? I, what, when yeah, was it? I see, for example, this mainly on daily basis, actually, like it's very easily, like you can see, as Cecilia said, those like, Maybe like, even though it's like said, like woman's opinion matters, etc. as musician, but like you can still see, for example, for me, it was like, maybe from being small, like, you know, accordion, uh -huh. it was like, oh, you're a girl, how can you play accordion? Like very, very stupid, simple thing, but like things like this. And then also when you have so strong opinion or things like this, you can get this like vibes that like, whoa, like you are really a bossy person and things like this. So. I don't know, like there have been things like this and also thinking like music, like being like as a history, uh, thinking history, how many females were there or how many weren't like even like accessible or known to mm -hmm. nowadays or even in music history, we haven't been taught about them, for example, especially composers like and I feel like, whoa, just because they were women, they yes. didn't even have a chance because they lived in certain period of time. For example, like this is quite hard to understand. And even nowadays I see like among some colleagues, like like they still perceive me, oh, like you are still a woman, like no, but I have quite strong opinions, so they will need to survive it. <laughs> I remember I have had like several sort of revealances. In 2014 I moved to Sweden, so I was like 26. That time mm -hmm. I first time noticed maybe it's not me being bossy, maybe it's the society that mm -hmm. views me. I like that in Sweden, I felt like much more accepted, as I said. And the second time was in 2016, when I started reading gender studies at uh -huh. Helsinki University. And it felt like I finally started to get names for things. It was like, oh, this is what is happening. It's like a common phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And 2017, there were two big experiences, like Me Too was, of course, a very big experience. Yes. That it changed a lot, I feel the field. But it was also for me in 2017, I remember I heard at the fe festival, Koko Nainen in Finland, that focuses on female composers. They were playing the piano part at, of Helvi Leiviska, a Finnish composer who writes in sort of romantic style. Mm -hmm. And I had always thought, you know, that women have not become famous because they haven't had the opportunity to compose and that's why they haven't had time to de develop as a composer and that's why their music is not played. So I was thinking like, it's because of quality that we don't play female composers. And then when I heard this piece, it's like such a fantastic piece for me. It's like something like a Finnish Tchaikovsky, really wonderful mm -hmm. music. And I was crying because it was so beautiful music. And I was also crying because I noticed I have believed myself in the structure that, oh, it's because of quality that we don't play female composers. Mm -hmm. And I have been part of this sort of belief and believed it myself that it is because of the quality. And then I here get proof that no, it's not quality. It's just mm -hmm. because nobody has bothered to play mm -hmm. Helvi Leiviska. She has just become forgotten because there's no real reason. Yeah. And like, just thinking about those, like, thinking like or just like historical it's quite sad actually when you start to think about those things like and when you see like if something happens to you like you can think like okay like now we are here in this century maybe like we can still have a more word but then you think what back then in the history no word basically and it's it's quite sad to think about those things but yeah 